Welcome back or welcome to my channel. In this channel, we create DIYs and sewing projects, but for today, we are going to be making a no sew jewelry pouch pocket. You can take out this item with you when you're out traveling. This is a great way just to take it out and to go and be ready to look your best. Let's just get into this video and let me show you the supplies that you need to achieve this pouch. You will be needing some fabric scissors, an eraser, pencil, compass. If you don't have a compass, you can always use your round object like your tape or the lid of a candle. And then for the fabric of choice, I'm going to be using this table runner. I got it from Dollar Tree. You're going to need some glue and then some glue sticks and a glue gun and then some paper. First, I'm going to start off by seeing how big of a circle I can make on this. And I have this ruler and it's exactly about like 12 inches. Well, not exactly about. It's about 12 inches. So we're gonna get a compass, find the radius of this, and we're gonna draw it out on the pattern paper. The radius of this is going to be six inches. Stick my pencil here and then make sure it hits six inches. Now I'll just extend it. That looks about right. Now we're gonna draw our circle, put that down, and then just start spinning. And now I'm gonna cut this piece out. There you go. Now for this part, we're gonna make another circle, just one inch smaller. So I'm gonna just adjust this. There you go. And repeat the same steps. Now I'm going to cut this piece out as well. Awesome, and now we have our two circles. Next, we're going to cut out our circles. For this to be a no sew, you want to make sure you have like a vinyl material, which is kind of like plastic. So when you cut this out, it's not going to fray like this side would, since this side is more like a fabric material. So we're going to be pinning around the circle and pin around as well for this guy. There you go. Now we're just gonna cut out the circles. Now that we have our two circles, we're gonna remove the bottom piece of fabric. What you want to do is grab your breaker circle and turn it to the wrong side. If you are not a fan of this, you can always just cut out another piece and layer it on top. Then just glue it in place, but we're going to keep going. So I'm just going to put this in the center and it should be one inch away from the edge. Just measure it out. Make sure it's one inch all around. Now I'm going to lightly pencil the edge. We're going to remove this piece off and then find the center and then at their center. So let's now get our ruler and we're just going to do like a pizza cut. We're not going to cut this out though, we're just going to do pizza lines. So one up this way as well. Now I'm going to grab another small circle and this is about four inches. So we want two inches on each side. So two inches on this side as well. Two, two. Awesome, so let's trace. Now you want to take your glue gun and we're just going to be gluing this circle first. So we're gonna glue. I'm gonna do a little swirl. An ugly swirl. Now you want to do the circle. I'll press it down for a second. As you can see, that wasn't the best idea. I'm gonna leave it as it is and pretend that didn't happen. Okay, so it didn't glue down. Do it again. So just work in sections, I would suggest. Press it down. Since this side is hot, we're going to work on this side. And now we're just going to be doing the lines. Just work with individual lines first. Here you go. Okay. 
So now we're gonna let that set and let's dry for a second. For this part, we're gonna cut little slits into the fabric all the way around. So right now I'm just gonna be marking kind of the same points where we did previously for the glue. And then we're gonna do some right in between those spots. Since we have a spot right here, we're just going to fold it to the inside have the edge meet this edge and we're gonna do a little slip like so so let's do that all the way around a small slit and now we're gonna loop this around so you can always use a drawstring you can use a shoelace you can use anything Put your jewelry inside, like your bigger items in the middle. Got a necklace, you can put in one of the pockets. Another necklace. Or if you have one of your rings too, just place it in there. You have one of those little portable colognes that they give you in the mail. You can always stick it in there. And then just close it right up, tie it. Nice and safe and ready to go. Now nothing is getting tangled. It low key looks like one of those dumpling thingies. Or we can do this. You can always give it as a gift. You can give your friend a little shot glass and then fill the little corners with some candies. This can be a cute little, you know, gift for your friend or anything that you need to have on the go. Hope you enjoyed this cute little DIY. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Share, comment, and subscribe.